Hey and welcome to another Android tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at deep linking. Uh, more specifically deep linking from one application to another application. So this essentially won't involve the URL or any sort of um, HTTP links but essentially just switching from one app and deep linking to another. So to quickly iterate in what we're gonna be looking at, I have two applications here, one called receive, one called send, and they're, they do essentially what they're named. Send is gonna um, send a deep link, and receive is gonna receive one. So there are two different applications, and we're gonna be deep linking from one to the other. In send, we got three buttons, which will essentially deep link to A, B, C. We'll go over what those are, um, but this is the main part of it. And then we have receive, which will be receiving the deep link. And there is three activities, right? So three buttons there, three buttons here. And clicking on each of these, we'll notice that it will open an additional interactivity each of them displaying what type of activity they were, A, B, and C. So this is really what we're doing, is we go back, uh, so we close receive, we go back to send. Um, we can actually deep link to each of those individual activities by clicking either of these. So we deep link to activity B from receive, and we could also do the same thing for the other ones, for example, deep linking to activity A, and this way allows us to open applications, um, not necessarily just opening another application, but um, opening a specific activity, um, which would be helpful for users to um, get them to the right place. Um, the code is available on GitHub as always. I'll leave a description, a link in the description um, if you'd like to follow along that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the code. Uh, as discussed, we'll have two applications. One is here called send and one here is called receive. So I think it might be helpful to actually start with send and look into how we might actually um, send a deep link. So in our application, we have one activity and we only have three buttons which represents the stuff that we have here. Uh, there's not much going on, except there is three on-click listeners. And you actually notice there's not a lot of things in terms of um, uh, creating and sending a deep link. It's quite simple if we're just doing it from an app to an app. Uh, the action will almost always be view, and we're gonna be looking at um, the URI, obviously the URI that we're gonna be sending has to match on the receive side as well, but we can go over that as well and what exactly this means. But uh, essentially we're gonna be starting an intent using start activity the same way you open other activities. But in this case, this is an implicit intent. Essentially we're telling Android that we need to view something and the URI is this guy here. So Android will look into what sort of application is capable of opening this URI, this continent, which and a, the other application will be capable of. Um, one thing that you could do is you, for example, could put, I believe, a URL here. This is not something we're gonna be looking to, but if you do something like this, the, um, the OS will notice that this is a, a URL and it might, for example, say, oh, Google Chrome can open this or Firefox or some other application. And if you only have one, for example, if you only have Chrome, then it will only directly open that one. Um, and in this case, um, it might be also helpful to make sure that the deep linking that you're sending and receiving on the other end is somewhat unique, so you don't clash with other applications. Some of the examples I found is to maybe put your 
application name. So maybe you could do something like calculator, calculator app. Also make sure everything is lowercase. I've noticed that you should not use uppercase. And then maybe your calculator might have a settings page or something. And you might deep link into some other part of the settings like notifications, something like that. Um, but you can play around with it. In my example, it's very basic. Uh, so that's how you send a deep link. I won't go into the BNC because essentially they're exactly the same thing. Um, but this is how we're going to do it. This is how we're sending the deep link. So how do we actually respond to it? Well, um, in terms of actually uh, being able to respond, uh, all of that will be done in the manifest itself. Um, let's go back and switch to receive. And let's go ahead and switch to receive on here as well. And if you remember, our receive has one, act one main activity and then three individual ones. Um, so in terms of code, we're not really doing much, but we do need our activity A, B, and C to be able to handle these deep links, okay? So the main part that we're gonna look into is the data, but I will go over what is up here as well. Um, what we do need, however, is the intent filter. If you're gonna need one of your activities to be able to handle deep linking, you're gonna be using intent filter. And inside that intent filter, the first thing I'm going to look at is data. And data will hold um, three main parts. The host, the path pattern, and the scheme. Um, so you can follow this example if you would like. So for example, scheme is the one that goes at the start. In this example, you can see the example is at the start. And then we have the path pattern, which is the backslash A that actually goes at the end. And then you have the host, which is in this case is test, which goes in the middle. So if you follow this pattern, you should be able to open and deep link to activity. Um, but, as, but obviously in your case it would be different. But again, as an example, you could, for example, do calculator app and your host might be settings and path pattern. Again, I believe I use something like notification, whatever. If you want to go to a more specific part of your settings, you can do that. And I believe you can have empty path patterns. If not, there is some ways you could do it. For example, is star, I believe, which would means everything. Um, but yeah, it seems like empty does give an error. Um, but overall, these are the three, three things that you will need to fill out. I'm going to undo these. Okay. And so again, this does not include the HTTPS URL request. We're going to look at that in a different tutorial since that might make things more complicated. But again, just make sure you're getting the format right, you're getting the backslashes and everything in there as well. One thing to watch out for is path pattern will need this backslash. I don't know why it does. Um, but in this case, for example, we don't need these two anywhere else from what I've seen. So just watch out for this. If it's not working, make sure you have a backslash there in path patterns. Um, but the same thing, uh, just to quickly, will also work for URLs. In the example they have in the documentation, they use something like Gizmo. And um, so you don't necessarily have to provide the path pattern. I believe it was talking about having it empty. So if you don't actually need it, okay, that's the right way to do it. Just don't include it. But you could also do the same thing with URLs. We're going to look into that later. Um, let's go ahead and look into the categories in action. Um, it's, it is a view. We looked at the send, um, our intent that we're sending is a view. So this is really what it's following up. Your intent action needs to be view. That's 
that's really it. The default essentially says that our activity is able to respond to implicit intent. So if there's another activity that essentially gives us a type of data, please consider us as an activity to open it. In this case, on my emulator, there is not a lot of applications. Right? There's not a lot of applications that can open example test A. So receive is the only application that can actually open this. So when we send the deep linking, it will open it for us. And that's the reason because we are the only application. If that was not the case, then we might get those dialogues that essentially says the user needs to choose one of the activities or choose one of the applications to open and possibly choose one as their default. And then we have browser browsable, uh, but this is mostly for having your application show up on Google search. So you could actually remove this in this case, and I believe it will work. But for most examples, people just leave it because no harm, no done. So this is a quick way to do deep linking for your application. Super simple. It will make you be able to switch between different applications, maybe open Google Maps, Google Chrome, whatever, much easier. Um, you will have to look into what URIs other applications support, but this is how you send one. This is how you will make your application respond to deep linkings. And it will be a quick way to deep link into a specific activity. So hopefully that was helpful. I appreciate everyone watching this video. And if this was helpful, please make sure to subscribe.